does Chief Alan Tremonton mean what he is saying? Chief Alan Quejo Tremonton, the leader of the Alliance for Revolutionary Change in Ghana, says he will fight corruption ruthlessly if elected president in the December 2024 general elections. A great idea, but how many times should Ghanaians listen to such promises? Is this the promise that Ghanaians need at this time? Hello and welcome again to the Edge Politics Podcast. Geopolitical Queen here with today's episode on Chief Alan Tremontine campaign promise on fighting corruption ruthlessly if voted as president. No pun intended, and hopefully his supporters will not get me wrong, but from the days of former President John Kufu in 2000, such has been the promises of all flag bearers. Yet, after 24 years and counting, corruption has not been able to be eradicated from the Ghanaian system. So, is it corruption that can't be fought? Or it is the financial system imposed on the country that is preventing such efforts? How would corruption be fought when people are hungry? A man has to feed his family. But with what? From the meager salary that he earns from his job, which is barely enough to feed only one person in the family? How many jobs would Chief Allen create when the salaries are just peanuts but how did this discrepancy even become possible in ghana because the financial system of the country is dictated by another country that has no business dictating financial terms for any sovereign country known as the united states of america the U.S. dictates the financial cup for the country because all banks operating in Ghana need to do their transactions through intermediary banks which are mostly based in the United States. In 2000, Ghana's population was 19 million people and the country's annual budget was around 700 million US dollars. In 2024, Ghana's population is 34 million people and the budget is still 700 million USD. Is this proportionate? Is this budget enough to go around for people to survive on without any corruption taking place? Corruption can be fought when Ghana starts getting rid of taking instructions from a bankrupt country like the United States and establishes its own independent sovereign path. For your information, the U.S. has a debt of over $34 trillion. Is this the bankrupt country to advise or dictate financial issues to another sovereign country? When there is inflation in the US, more dollars are printed out and thrown into the system, and the world is informed that the US is rich. But when a country like Ghana faces inflation, Ghana is compelled to take loans from the IMF, an act which
which rather worsens the already existing problem. As IMF loans are not meant for development, but to sustain the debt that they, the IMF, under the US, has piled upon the country. So how will Chief Alan fight corruption under such terms when the country is held to ransom by IMF parameters and people are hungry most importantly? Should Ghana be still wasting its time with institutions like the IMF when there are alternatives and options today? So what do you think? Can Chief Alan manage to fight corruption so long as Ghana is still following American anti-development measures from the IMF? Or it's time he starts thinking of alternatives to make his dream come true? Well, kindly leave your comments in the comment section below. And thanks for tuning in. I will be back with the next broadcast. Good day.